uh, what you owe. So these are people that you owe. So if I go to the balance sheet, now we're mainly focusing, you would think, on the accounts payable. Now, people that you owe money to this time. So back to the tab to the right, we've got the uh, 1099s. Now 1099s are tax related item. So we'll dive into 1099s later. So they're, they're a specialty area based on our tax obligations in the United States. So we have to report to the IRS if certain conditions are met that we paid money to these people so the IRS can follow up and collect from them. Uh, and then we've got the accounts payable aging detail. This is similar to the accounts receivable aging detail. So you'll see a similar layout. And so we have the aging this way because this is the detail broken out by vendor who we owe the money to. So it's just giving us more detail on that accounts payable. Same with this one, the bill payment list, anything related to the bills and unpaid bills. Bills are the thing that increases the accounts payable. So this is a report giving us more detail in essence about accounts payable, the outstanding balances. You got the vendor balance detail and the vendor balance summary. These also are similar to the the aging details uh, and they're great because they give you a, a total, but oftentimes in practice, you'll be working over here in the centers for the expenses center by vendor and going into the individual vendors and whatnot. This total outstanding balance area, the amounts that are open should in essence tie out to the accounts payable.